The Jacksonville Jaguars are not known for making big moves in any scenario, whether that be free agency, the draft, or actual gameplay. But one big thing that could happen here in the 2020 NFL Draft is that the Jaguars could trade up or trade down this year in the draft and there's a lot of talent in positions of need for the Jaguars and they already have huge draft capital with 12 picks in the 2020 NFL draft and they could continue to build on that and maybe even stockpile some picks for next year or even get a pretty solid player in the process. Now today we're going to be discussing should the Jaguars trade up or trade down or not at all in the 2020 NFL Draft. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is Should the Jaguars Trade Up or Down in the 2020 NFL Draft? So the Jaguars are in a real interesting spot with their number 9 and their number 20 pick. Like I said, the draft pool for talent this year is pretty deep in certain positions that the Jaguars need, such as cornerback, defensive tackle, wide receiver, uh, etc., there's a lot of talent that the Jaguars could have in later picks, and it depends on how far they want to go with this rebuild. I mean, I think trading completely out of the first round, um, out of the 20th pick, would be a bad idea. I think they need to use, you know, at least one of their first round picks. I don't want to see us pull like a Seahawks move and not pick in the first round at all and just kind of pick in the day two and the day three. I would not want to see that. But um, I don't think that's a situation that can happen. I, I think Dave Codwell knows that. I think the number nine overall pick is pretty solidified. I don't think the Jaguars are going to go anywhere with that number nine pick. I think with the talent that's going to be on the board um, at number nine if they don't trade up. So now we're talking about trading down. Um, the Jags don't trade up. I don't think they give up number nine. I think at number nine, you have an opportunity like with guys like uh, Kinlaw still there. You got guys like Derek Brown who might still be there. Um, you know, Akuda if he slips. And, um, you know, just players that the Jaguars need and players that will help develop this team to be a better football team. And, I mean, the offensive tackle class is ridiculous. So you could also get another stud of an offensive tackle at that position especially if, you know, these teams ahead of the Jaguars focus more on the defensive side of the ball. You know, because you think if Akuda goes high, Isaiah Simmons goes high, and, you know, really no team goes out and drafts, you know, a defensive tackle. So you got to think, like, Joe Burrow's obviously going to go number one, Chase Young at number two, and then, you know, that leaves guys like Isaiah Simmons who can go in the top eight, you know, Derek Brown, all those guys. Like, I mean, those are guys that can go in the top eight. And if they go instead of an offensive tackle, which I, there has to be one offensive tackle, at least maybe even two offensive tackles that might be off the board. I think Arizona's a team that's going to be able, that's going to draft an offensive tackle. But I think wide receiver is also pretty realistic uh, for the Cardinals, even though they just did get DeAndre Hopkins. But the more targets for a young Kyler Murray, the better. I mean, I think their philosophy is kind of the same way that the Jags have with Gardner Minshew. You know, the more targets you're going to put around this young rookie quarterback, the better the team's going to be. So, I mean, like a Jerry Judy or a C.D. Lamb, you know, with the Kyler Murray and uh, C.D. Lamb connection, obviously former teammates, you know, that could be a thing that could happen. But um, I think they're going to draft an offensive tackle. You know, teams like the Giants, too, they can draft one. But, um... You know, in the Giants draft, it's going to be hard to pass up on a guy like Isaiah Simmons. Um, Low-key, I'm hoping for kind of a Josh Allen situation where Isaiah Simmons falls to nine if the Jaguars don't trade up. But, um, yeah, I think they stick at nine. I wouldn't mind at 20 if there's nobody there that instantly impacts the team. You know, trade down. Get more draft capital. Get some more draft picks from next year. And maybe even, you know, just trade down the first round, maybe three, four picks. You know, and still have that first round selection in the 23-24 range. And pick your player that way. Um, I don't... See, yeah, I, I just, I don't think... And another thing that a lot of people want to talk about, too, is like... What kind of players are the Jags going to get if they exchange first round picks? I mean, with the 20th pick, there could be a deal where the Jags could get, like, Andy Dalton. But I don't see, like, a big-name player coming to Jacksonville for the 9th or the 20th pick. 
If the Jags are going to go all out, they're going to, you know, try and trade one of their players. They're going to try and trade, like, Yannick and Gawkway and uh, trade up, which is something we're going to be discussing in a little bit. But as far as trading down goes for the Jaguars, I don't see them doing that. If they stick at 9, I think 9 is the spot where they will draft. I could see it at 20, uh, moving down, getting some more picks for next year, and even loading up on more picks uh, for this year. You know, maybe in exchange for... You know, a first this year and like a fourth next year, you know, something like that, or like a high fifth. I don't know, something. You know, I I just think the Jags just need to get as much draft capital as they can get over the next two seasons because I think that's really all the Jags need is to hit on these drafts the next two years. It's been a struggle for this team, and uh, I don't think trading down is the way to go. Um, I think if you're gonna trade at all, the Jags should trade up. Um. Because they got guys like Yannick and Gawkway, you know, that entices teams to, you know, offer up that pick. You know, if you want to go bold, you want to go big, I don't think they will. But, I mean, trading up to two, get Chase Young, that would be cheesy. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. And, you know, it depends, too. It depends on how all these picks fall because if if I see the Jags doing anything, it's going to be with that ninth pick. I think at 20, they're either trading down or staying. Um... With the ninth pick, as far as trading up goes, that's where they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to trade up at 20 because, you know, there's really no point to. And if they're going to trade down, I think they trade down at 20. So that's what I'm saying is, like, the only way they trade up is at 9, and the only way they trade down is at 20. That's what I think. And, I mean, the Jags have, you know, Yannick Ngakwe, Leonard Fournette. Um, I don't think Fournette's on as on the trade block as it once was perceived. I think he still, you know, wants to be in the Jag- be with the Jags, but, uh, you know, rumors get to you and rumors are heard, and, you know, maybe it is true, but, you know, there could be an opportunity for him to stay, and I wouldn't mind that. But trading Yannick Ngakwe, a guy that already wants to get out of the building, try to trade up 3-4, you know, to 3 or 4 or 5, and try to get one of these elite defensive people, defensive players that are going to be in this year's draft. Try to get a guy like Akuda. Because Akuda is worth trading up for. Same thing with Isaiah Simmons. If you want Isaiah Simmons, trade up for him. You know, I don't want to see the Jags try to trade up and get like an offensive tackle or a wide receiver. That's not what they should be using their first first round pick with. They should be trying to build around the defense. And if you're going to try and trade up, the only really players I would like to see the Jags trade up to get would be Akuda or Isaiah Simmons. And, you know, I don't think Dave Caldwell has that kind of balls. But if you're trying to trade Yannick and Gawkwe, trade them in this draft. Because you could probably get, you know, obviously that first round pick, and they can get Yannick and Gawkwe. And then, you know, you probably don't even need to give up that much for next year's picks, maybe a fifth. Like, I mean, they're going to take Yann and think that's a hell of a steal getting that first round pick from this year's draft, and they're going to miss out on Akuda, and they only got to move down to nine. You know what I mean? Unless, you know, they're going to get real cheesy. And it's probably smarter on the Jag side to trade Yan in 20 to move up that high. But if you trade Yan in a 9, that's a no deal. That's a no that's a no brainer. Like that's a deal that's going to happen. But, you know, the more sensible route is probably Yan in 20 to move up to that top 3 top 5 range. I wouldn't mind seeing the Jags try to trade up and get Derek Brown too if like by 6 7 5 5 6 7 if he's still on the board and they don't think they have a chance of getting him, you know, make that phone call. Trade up. I don't see a lot of situations at 9 for the Jaguars trading down, but I see it for trading up. You know, I can see the Jags trading up and down in this draft. Trading up at 9, trading down at 20. You know, or using that 20th pick to trade up at 9. I wouldn't mind seeing that at all. But, uh, you know, and uh, I just, there's no way a team would like, you know, you trade up that high and they'd let you keep the ninth pick and the third pick. Like, I don't, I don't see that happening. That'd be way too, way too cheese, but you know, it's something to keep your eye on. So, you know, I think this might be a year the Jags make some moves, make some trades. I mean, obviously again, they have Yannick and Gawkway on their, on their roster right now on a franchise tag. And he clearly, clearly wants out of Duval, but I think at 9, the best move is to trade up. And at 20, I think the best move is to trade down. 
And that was, should the Jaguars trade up or down in the 2020 NFL Draft? What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, send links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Dream Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Dream Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, don't forget, you can hit that join button. Become a member of the Treebs tribe and get exclusive Treeb Talks content. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.